Hello, in this video we're going to graph these parametric equations and we're going to find the orientation and we're going to do it with the TI-84 calculator. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're in parametric mode. So you want to go over here to where it says mode and then you want to press that button. Then you want to go down and select parametric and press enter. So I'll use the down arrow keys, go over to parametric and then press enter. So again, you click on mode, go down to parametric, and then just press enter. To exit the screen, we have to press the quit button. So you have to press second first. So second mode. And that takes us back to the home screen. Okay, now we need to go to the graphing screen. So on the TI-84, that's found here where it says Y equals. So we click on Y equals. Then here we have X1, Y1, X2, Y2, etc. So first we'll graph X equals 3 cosine 4 theta. So we have 3 cosine 4. And now just enter the variable key. So press this key here. You'll notice it says T. That's no big deal. Um, just leave it as T. Let's go down, and the next one would be 2 sine 4 t, and then parentheses as well. Once you have all that typed in, uh, you want to go to Window. So let's go to Window. And you'll notice your t min goes from 0 to 6.2831853. That's 2 pi. Uh, the t step here is pi over 24, actually. Let's go ahead and graph it, and let's just see what happens. Okay, that graphed pretty quickly, as you can see. If you caught it, you could see that the orientation was uh, counterclockwise. But let's go back to uh, Window and make the step a little bit smaller. Let's make it like 0 0.05. Here's the trick. And I'll click Graph. And you see it's traced out very slowly. In fact, I can make it even smaller to show you. Let's let's go back to window. Let's do 0 0.01. Now watch what happens. It's traced out really slowly. So you see that gives you the orientation. So you can manipulate the step in order to find the orientation. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.